hello friends i hope you like my videos and it is helpful for you to update or learn the techniques related to pharma industry so in this video we will go through the calibration process for a conductivity meter step by step for general overview of conductivity meter and its operation i have explained in my last video so you can find the link for same into the description so here we will discuss only about the calibration of conductivity meter so let's start friends my youtube channel name is pharma quality so please view like comment and subscribe my channel to more update so now let's start with the calibration procedure so here i am explaining the conductivity meter of make lab india pico model right so the operation may differ in other conductivity meter however the calibration process will be the same so first is daily verification so prior to use of conductivity meter daily verification should be performed basically this ensures the accuracy and reliability of your reading right now the commercial available standard solution of 1.3 micro siemens per centimeter and 5 micro siemens per centimeter can be used for daily verification right so for the daily verification you need to transfer 10 ml of conductivity standard solution of 1.3 micro siemens per centimeter in a clean and dry beaker and after that wash the electrode and rtd sensor with the purified water and wipe it with the tissue paper right then dip the electrode and rtd sensor into the 1.3 micro siemens per centimeter solution what you have taken into the clean and dry beaker right and take the reading so in this way you can also take the reading for 5 micro siemens per centimeter solution right and once you will take the reading so that reading should be have the acceptance criteria that is plus minus 0.2 micro siemens per centimeter right so in this way we can perform the daily verification that is prior to use of the conductivity meter so now here we will discuss the calibration procedure for monthly calibration right so for monthly calibration we can use the 0.001 molar kcl solution so 0.001 molar kcl solution can be available commercially or you can prepare into the laboratory right so for the preparation of 0.001 m kcl you need to take the 0.07455 gram of kcl and dissolve it into the 1000 ml of purified water right so it will uh, you know prepare the 0.001 m kcl solution right now after that wash the electrode and rtd sensor with purified water and wipe it with the tissue paper then rinse the electrode and sensor with 0.001 m kcl solution and dip into the 0.001 m kcl solution so before taking the reading you need to rinse the sensor as well as electrode with 0.001 m kcl for the saturation purpose right and then you can dip into the kcl solution now select the conductivity mode and press the enter key from your conductivity meter display right so the screen will display like cell constant and if the cell constant uh, screen will display then press the enter key right now after pressing the enter key screen display weight stabilization and after it will display the reading and then press the cal key right and then cal constant value display right so now when you press the cal key it will display the cell constant value right and once the cell constant value will display then you need to press the enter key and here you can type the cell constant value as a 0 0.1 right and then a screen will display solution conditioning so here you need to type the 147.0 right and after that you need to uh, press the enter key so once you press the enter key the screen will display two options one is micro siemens another one is meter siemens right so here you need to select the 
option one that is micro seven right and then press the enter key so once you will press the enter key the enter coefficient option will be displayed on screen so here you need to type the value that is 1.96 and once you put the this value you need to press the enter key so once you will press the enter key there will be the two option that is option one for automatic temperature compensation at 25 degrees c or second one is the manual temperature right so here you can press one for automatic temperature sensing right now the screen will display weight stabilization so once the signal is steady it will display enter if reading is stable so once you will get this uh, message then you need to press the enter key right now record the observation of cell constant value so once you will press the enter key there will be the cell constant value appear on onto the display right so you need to record that value and similarly the screen will display the conductivity of 0.001 molar solution of kcl at 25 degrees c so you need to record that conductivity of kcl solution right so the acceptance criteria for cell constant value that should be falls between the 80 percent to 120 percent limit of standard value which display reach the cell constant with respect to the standard use right and the acceptance criteria for conductivity that should be 147 micro siemens per centimeter plus minus 2.0 percent so both the criteria that is cell constant value and conductivity uh, you know uh, reading for the 0.001 m sol uh, kcl solution that should also be made right so once these both criteria will meet you can say your calibration is passed so now here we will discuss the temperature sensor calibration right so the calibration for temperature sensor the frequency should be six month so for temperature sensor calibration first of all was the rtd sensor two to three times with the purified water then dip the sensor and calibrated thermometer or temperature probe in beaker which containing the purified water at 20 degree c and then record the observation that means you will need to have a calibrated thermometer or some temperature probe and in in a beaker you need to have the water so along with your uh, temperature sensor uh, which is inbuilt into the conductivity meter and external calibrated thermometer that both uh, the things we you need to put into the beaker which contains the water at 20 degrees C, right and similarly you need to perform the calibration at 25 degree C and 30 degree C and record the observation right so after calibration was the RTD sensor with purified water so the difference in temperature of sensor and calibrated thermometer should be plus minus 1.0 degree C of standard temperature so this is the acceptance criteria so you need to you know uh, calculate the difference between the temperature of sensor and temperature of calibrated thermometer right and it should be plus minus 1.0 degree C right so friends this is all about the calibration of conductivity meter thank you